Hi guys, and welcome to a stunning morning in Glen Dochart. And Glen Dochart is right in between Killin and Cray and Larrick. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's in the Loch Lomond district. Behind me, you can see the first Monroe of today, which has just got a little bit of cloud at the top. I'm sure that's going to burn off by the time I get there. The walk in has been fantastic so far, just following the river up. And as you've probably seen, the gigantic Ben Moore has been in the background the whole way. So today's route is going to take about eight hours and is about 10 miles long. I think the BLAC between the two Monroes is pretty low, so we'll soon find out how bad that's going to be. So I better stop chatting and start making my way to the first Monroe. Oh, there we go guys, Monroe 116 for me, this is Skia Cool and it's 921 metres high and it means the corner wing, probably because of the rocky outcrop from the way I came up there. It's blown a bit of a hooli here which I wasn't expecting so I think I'm going to find somewhere that's a bit more sheltered. So the conditions today have actually turned out better than expected, the forecast was for it to be overcast all day. So the fact that I'm getting some sun and blue skies is actually a bonus. The views are fantastic from up here too. The one that catches eye the most is probably Ben Moore, but the views to the next Monroe are also great. This is the reason I love doing the Monroe so much. There's such variety in Scotland in the mountains, such as last week I was in Kintail over the rocky and rugged landscape, whereas today the slopes are a bit more gentle and grassy but they still have their own great character. I did catch a glimpse of the Bilac on the way to this Monroe. I think it drops about 300 metres. I'm not looking forward to that too much. So I'm going to get a quick bite to eat and then make my way to the next Monroe. Right, so that's me making my way down, and it's a steep descent down here, pretty much just straight off the side. I'll show you here. So I'm going to go down here, down to the Bilac, and then up, and I think the Monroe is actually over there. So I've made my way across the Bielak, that was pretty hard going, and there's where I've just came from. But I've still got another little drop to go across to the Monroe, which is just across there, not too far. And the views are forever changing today, it's been brilliant. The rain was pouring when you say Cruel. Bring you 
So I finally made it to the second one of today. And this is Mial Glass, and it's 959 meters high. So a little bit higher than the first one of today. And it means the green or the gray hill. The views here, again, are brilliant. You can see to Ben Chalam right next to this one and over to the bridge of Orkey Rose. So I've enjoyed total solitude up here today as I haven't seen another person and I've really enjoyed it. The descent path is pretty much just straight down behind me which will take me straight back down to the van. But I'm going to give my reviews here of these two Monroes. I think I'll give them both 7 out of 10. I think it's a great day out, no difficulties but the views are pretty rewarding. So again, it must be time to get something to eat. I'm forever eating out on these hills. I think it's just because you burn so much energy, I've got to stop for a few biscuits at every one. So I'm going to get a bite to eat and then start making my way back down to the van. That's it for another video then, and the sun's came out, it's absolutely rosa again. So hopefully you'll join me for some more Monroes in the next one.